Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we will understand the file structure of default React application created using create react app command. Along with that, we will understand what is the use of package.json file. In the previous lecture, we had learned how to create your first React application using CLI. So as I said in the previous lecture, if you wanted to create a React application, you just need to say a command npx or npm create react app and specify your application name so in my case i used my app application we already created this app so i will just start the development server using npm start command right so i have a first react application created using cli now this application has a simple and beautiful file structure i just want to explain this file structure and also describe what is the use of package.json file now let's explore the file structure when you expand your React application, the first folder you will see is a node module. This folder will put various things on your computer. All packages are dropped in this node module folder. You can access any packages from this folder using import keyword. We already learned how to create a package or you can just say a module and import that module in JavaScript file. The same mechanism used here also. If you want you to import any packages, you just need to say import package name and the location where you wanted to import that package. The node module directory is where all the packages, all the dependencies get built or stored. If you expand node modules folder, you will get plenty of packages installed in your application. Just after that, here you will see public folder. In this folder, we have three files. The favicon file, which is the icon file. Then we have index.html file and then we have manifest.json file. The first favicon file is the icon file that shows up in your browser address bar and is used as an icon for bookmarks. In the public folder, you have main index.html file. Index.html is the main HTML file that includes your React code and application that provide a context for React to render to. Specifically, it include a div tag your react app will shows up inside so this is your div id root this is the most important part of your application this is where your react application gets rendered in your browser right now then we have manifest.json file you specify basic metadata about your extension such as the name and the version and you can also specify aspect of your extensions functionalities such as background scripts content script and browser actions just below that we have source folder this store all our modifiable data in this folder you will find index.js file index.js file store our main render call from the react dome object it import our app.js component that we start off with react and tells react where to render it then we have index.css file for store the base styling for our application just after that we have app.js file app.js file is a simple react component called app that we get for free when creating a new app we will actually be deleted the entire content of the file and starting over right then we have app.css file to styling our targeting component just after that we have app.test.js file this is our first set of tests to run against our simple app component that we start off with. Then we have logo.svg, it's just a React logo, which you will see when you start the default React application server. Just after that, here we have servicesworker.js file. A services worker is a script that your browser runs in the background, separate from the web page, opening the door to features that don't need a web page or user interaction. Basic use of this file is to include features like push notification and background sync. Just after that, we have git ignore file. Git ignore file, which used to see every file in your working copy as one of the three things to track a file, to untrack the file, and ignore the file, which git has been explicitly told to ignore. Now, just after that, we have package log.json file. Package log.json file is automatically generated for any operations where the npm modifies either the node modules tree or package.json file. 
it described the exact tree that was generated. Just after that, this is your readme file for your application and this is your package.json file which we will describe just right now. Next, let's understand what is package.json file. The package.json file is what store the list of dependencies for your application as well as what describe your application. Just like your application name and the version, the description, the keywords and the license. Every React application need to have a package.json file. Package.json file used to describe your application. It describes your application name, version or in addition you can specify description, keyword, license, etc. Along with that, the package.json file lists the packages your project depends on, specific version of the package that your project can use and makes your build reproducible and therefore easier to share with other developers. In package.json file, two fields are required, name and version. The name field represent your application name. Name field must be lowercase and one word and may contain hyphens and underscores. Then the second required field is the version. The version field represent the version of your application. The version field must be in semantic version, right? In this file, you will find dependencies. The dependency property takes an object that has the name and the version at which each dependency should be used. This object represents the module which we are depends on. So we are depending on React, React Dome and React Script module. You can find this module in Node module folder. Just after that, we have a script section where all the script used in the application name and the version are specified. And just after that, here we have ESLint configuration file. This configuration file is to share target browser and Node.js version between different front end tools, right? I hope you understand the file structure of React application and what is the use and what is package.json file. That's it. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.